I'm joined today by John Viola, who's the security manager at Walt Disney World. John, great to see you. Thank you so much for making time to catch up with me. Great to see you, Des. So I wanted to catch up with you today, John, to just have a quick chat about the upcoming 2023 ASIS International Global Security Exchange event, or GSX, as it's generally referred to. I want to share with our audience some of the highlights of this year's event and, and particular reasons for folk to register and attend. And in your space, I was really keen to get some insights around just the, the pillar of physical security. Uh, and in your case, you know, large environments such as Disney World, it's a very, very unique space. And as we were talking offline just a moment ago, uh, you know, people like myself, our only real experience of that is a $150 ticket and a day visit all the glossy bits and you see it behind the scenes. I wonder if we could just kick off, though, um, before we dive into the event topics, just with a little quick introduction to yourself and just an outline of kind of, you know, your role and remit and, and what uh, working at Disney World is like. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks. Dad. So, um, so I, I, as you mentioned, I work at uh, Walt Disney World. I've been here for um, almost five years now. Um, prior to that, uh, and I was, uh, I was in the uh, amusement park and hospitality industry at Universal uh, prior to, and then prior to that, Six Flags. So I've spent my entire just over 30 year career uh, in the hospitality industry. And I will tell you, what an amazing industry it is. I mean, it's super exciting. Every day is different. Um, but, and I will tell you kind of that you alluded to a little bit, it, you know, it's a lot of what we do is like the tip of the iceberg, right? You see this tip of the iceberg, the stuff that you see, the officers that are out in the field. And then there's all this stuff that happens to your point behind the scenes, right? Whether it's our investigations teams, our intelligence teams, all of the things that come together, the the portfolio of security that 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 makes up you know what we do every day that that really makes it really interesting and really strong and it's just it's it's been fantastic no indeed and and i love the fact that you've gravitated to an area that you're very passionate about and you've had a multi-decade uh, career path uh, I, t I think when we were talking offline i mentioned that i tend to find that uh, security specialists do that they find where their passion is and they focus on that um, and I can only imagine what what sort of challenges you deal with, whether it's everything from when in, people enter the car park from the public areas all the way through to uh, the, the groovy rides, which scared the pants off me. I, I My kids used to drag me on them and I used to just sit there and close my eyes and hope I survived till the end. <laughs> Now, um, John, you're uh, you're speaking this year, I believe, at the AS, 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 uh, uh, GS Exchange, and I think you're part of the pre-conference event, um, and you're doing a keynote with a couple of peers, I believe, on the topic of um, professional certified investigator reviews, or particularly PCI reviews. I wonder if you can just right. share a little insight into that without giving away too much, because obviously we, we don't want to share everything. We want people to come along and see it. But what can you share about what you're talking about? So, well, I guess first and foremost, uh, ASIS is, as an organization and as a certifying organization, is it really is the gold standard uh, for, for professional certifications in the security field. Um, so when you look at their certifications, the CPP, the PSP, the PCI, and, and the APP, all of them are just absolutely fantastic certifications. Um, I am facilitating the PCI uh, review course uh, pre-conference. Uh, with uh, a, a woman by the name of Angela Osborne. Uh, so we'll be presenting that over two days. Um, and, and the content is, and again, not to give too much away, but it's over the three domains um, that the PCI kind of covers, the, the Professional Certified Investigator um, exam covers. So it, is, it truly is a, a review course for the uh, Professional Certified Investigator exam. And I should note, you you have uh, multiple of these. I think you're a CPP, PCI, PSP. You, you've got a long range of these things you've actually done yourself. So you're coming to this as an actual expert who has these certifications, who's been through this process. What is that process like just uh, you know, with regard to what you've done with your certifications? You've got yourself multiples with ASIS. It, 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 there's quite a bit to it. Um, and, and there is a lot of studying. Um, obviously, there's a, a um, body of knowledge that exists for for whatever, so if it's a CPP, if there's a body of knowledge for that, PCI, body of knowledge for that, and PSP, another body of knowledge for that. Um, specifically for that, you you really, I, I spent a very long time and, <laughs> and read all of that. I think at the time it was somewhere around uh, 20, 2,500 pages of wow. security, uh, security information, which for me, it was incredibly interesting. I was very dry. It read like a textbook, of course, um, but but super interesting because it was something that you know, as my my coursework and my degree was not in in security or criminal justice or any of that. 
So it was my first exposure to the academia that existed in the in the career that I had fell into for uh, for you know at the time probably 20, 25 years. Um, so so a lot of stuff, a, a lot of hard work that goes into it before, um, and then you know actually the taking of the exam. Um, you know either any one of them you take. Obviously, there's it's it's all of them have more than 100 questions to them, um, and and all all scored. So it's. There's a lot that goes into it uh, before. Mm -hmm. um, for for some of them, I have done the uh, the review courses that ASIS offers, as well as like very similar to the one that we're doing. Actually, I have I did take one through IS, uh, ASIS prior, um, similar to the one that we're doing for the PCI review. Right, mm -hmm. I think that's extremely valuable. Um, only because it kind of gives you the roadmap on how to study and kind of the way that the, the the content is arranged and what the expectations uh, for individuals for, that are taking that test would be would be expected to know and to to you know, answer questions on for the for the exam. So there's a little bit that goes in on oh, a little bit. There's a lot <laughs> that goes into it uh, when taking these exams and studying for these exams and prepping yeah. for them. But I will tell you that it is absolutely 100 percent worth it. Obviously, the exposure that I've, I've had to the to the content, to the material, I've gone back and used all of it at one point or different points in my career. Um, it, it is very valuable and it holds up in the industry, right? I mean, there's many, many um, uh, positions th throughout the world that require those certifications. Some yes. of them are preferred qualification. You know, it, it's a preferred qualification. Some of them are a required co uh, qualification for to obtain any of those one, any of those positions. So. Um, especially when you start to see CPP, P, the, any of the ASIS uh, certifications, right? PCI, PSP. I've seen them in many job descriptions, even the ones here at Disney. Um, I've seen them in there. So extremely valuable. Also from I, I, obviously street cred, right? I mean, the fact that you have established a base of knowledge in that in that area mm. of, of, of security, I think it also kind of gives you that, hey, I've accomplished this task. I've at least met that threshold, right? So- I think it's absolutely. Yep. Yeah, there's a certain level of, of personal reward in achieving that. And, and congratulations on having so many uh, behind your name. But also, uh, just as you said, that process of, of you know, having the the, the time and, and tenacity and diligence to, to do the study, to do the research, to do the work, and then actually go and get tested and certified and then be able to put it into practice. I've always found that with any testing and certification I've done myself, as you've just given a very glowing recommendation to uh, ASIS's process, is that, you know, there's a lot of learning to be done. There's a lot of uh, stress in the testing, obviously, because there's a lot of uh, weight on you to get all the answers right. But the ability right. to then take it to the field and put it into practice, I always find, makes it all worthwhile. There's so much going on at this event. You know, I, I guess one of the things I wanted to get a sense on uh, is, is sort of, you know, the uniqueness of the event. And, and unfortunately, I won't be able to attend this year, but uh, I'm looking forward to coming next year. You know, when we see a number of other events, whether it's you know, the RSA conference in, in America or whether it's uh, uh, U, uh, InfoSec Europe and London, they've got very vertical focuses uh, in particular areas such as cybersecurity alone. But what I love about GSX is that it's got the physical domains, it's got the logical environments, uh, system software platforms, it's got uh, strategy, design, implementation, solutions, operations, and then it's got cybersecurity at the other end of the spectrum. Um, right. What are some of the reasons you think experts such as yourself and others and your peers should come along? What are some of the real standout reasons that, that people should go and have a look at the website, check it out, register and come and attend and be part of it? Absolutely. Um, so I would say primar primarily does it's, um, but there's a lot of things, right? I'm going to put a couple different things I'll mention. First and foremost, networking. Um, I think whether you're a brand new security, new yep. in the field, all the way to a seasoned professional in the field. I think this really is, well, it's the world's largest security event, right? Security conference. So you, you're you in that same space with security professionals from all over the world. Um, you have exposure to the new technology, to the new, you know, in the exhibition floor, right? So you have all of the new stuff that's coming up. You can talk to those vendors. You can look at their products, you know, one-on-one -on -one and have those, have those conversations. The learning, does is absolutely first rate. I mean, it, it is fantastic. And and I, you almost have trouble kind of finding out there's so <laughs> much to do and so much you want to see and learn about that you run out of time and you have to really prioritize what's important to you and what you want to take away uh, from the learning aspect, because otherwise you won't, you, you'll, it, it, there's just so much and it's so, and it's so, it's so deep. So I, I think 
you know, you take all of those, and again, going back to some of the some of those that are just starting their professional career in security, there is the uh, young professionals groups. There are the, I, I believe they do the resume reviews and the headshots, and they have a whole young professionals network area that you can go and network with with seasoned professionals. You can get professional headshots done. You can get resumes done. Um, Wow. There's the ASIS hub, so you can learn about, well, just a little bit about how ASIS is, too. So when you actually are a member of ASIS, you have access to ASIS Connects, which is different communities. There's, I don't even know how many there are right offhand, but there are um, what other, so, so say you're in the um, hospitality, entertainment, and tourism um, <laughs> arena of security, right? There is a hospitality, entertainment, and tourism community. If you're in the uh, gambling and wagering area, there's that. There's the law enforcement liaisons, there's young professionals, there's women in security, there's all different, I think there's even a a school, there's a ton of different communities, depending on what type of security you're you're doing, you're going to join in those communities with individuals that have like experiences and, and have similar interests. And so if there is a problem, somebody out there probably has at least a recommendation for a solution uh, from a security perspective, especially when you're looking at those specific communities. So I think something that happens at GSX is they have at the GSX hub, they have the communities come out and talk to individuals. So you can kind of, again, so if you're in that hospitality, entertainment, tourism arena of security, you can come and talk to us. And there's a schedule for that to come and talk to um, those that are in that community are ready to, to kind of get some insight and what, what are the benefits of ASIS. So I think, you know, top down, yeah. I think GSX is just, there's just so much. And, and Des, I wish I could tell you everything that, that, that is a benefit, <laughs> um, but because there's just so much there, but I do believe that being in that space with other meeting, learning from talking to other security professionals in the field, I think is just one of the, the, the most amazing things about GSX. And you and I chose you as one of my uh, mine on a guess that you would nail this, and you absolutely did there. Uh, I love a couple of things you 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 touch on there, which I'll just recap as well. And, and again, reasons that we want people to go and visit the website, learn about GSX 2023 as an event, see all the amazing domains, all the amazing spaces they can, and the community. You know, whether it's the the keynotes such as yourself, whether it's panels for conversations, discussions where we can put a hand up and ask questions, whether it's the demos getting face-to-face with the brands and the vendors, their experts, subject matter experts, the training and learning and certification. I think there's like 230 plus of those or something. Hopefully I haven't got that wrong. And as you said, that networking element, I don't think there's any way to put a value on that networking element of, you know, register, attend, come along, absorb that. But also you've touched on a really interesting point, which is, you know, do homework prior. And I think this is the case of a lot of big events now, certainly GSX is there's so much on offer. It's really important to do a little bit of planning in advance. And I know security professionals are good at that to make sure you're making the best of the time you've got there and the best of the people that are available, such as yourself, to have those conversations. What are you particularly looking forward to? I mean, there is so much on, but, you know, are there a couple of things yourself that you're looking forward to? Is it catching up with the friends and associates you probably haven't seen because of all the lockdowns or the last event? Uh, is, is it birds of a feather in your space? What are some of the things that you're personally looking forward to? Yeah, so I will tell you that that some of the networking is is what I am looking forward to. I also do look forward to the learning Um you know, full disclosure too, I get my resume reviewed every time I go to GSX just, <laughs> nice. just because. So it's, you know, even, of course. A, even a seasoned security person can still get there, you know, and, and I have gotten some really good feedback on it. I, but uh, but I will tell you, just, just being with those individuals and being in that space um, to, again, learn camaraderie, talk through security, you know, what, what our problems are, what our common issues are, and, and kind of Maybe we don't come up with the solutions there, but at least it starts the wheels turning, you know, in that direction and gets us gets us all in that same space thinking. So it's yeah, absolutely. That's probably what I'm looking forward the most. And I, I, I can't say enough about the learning sessions. They are so quality and they are so awesome. And and again, I have a, a difficult time picking out which ones that I personally want to attend just because there's just so much there. Well, the good news is that whatever you can't get through this year, you can turn up next year and do more. John, you've given us an amazing insight into kind of you know what you're covering yourself and 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 just uh, a glowing review of ASIS uh, as an organization and their uh, Global Security Exchange or GSX event for this year. Um, for our audience, we will, wherever you're seeing this video, we, we, we will have links and details where you can click to go and visit the GSX 2023 event. We would love you to go along and have a good deep dive of those as John's outlined. There's a lot on offer. 
I, I can't imagine there's, there's not something for everyone in this. So if you've got time and the, the resource and the funding, the availability to go, just register, go along, attend, meet people like John and, and dive into those learnings, dive into that networking and, and, and really get something from this event. <clears throat> and as you said, you know, get those headshots. I look forward to seeing your updated headshot in your profile. And, you know, I love the fact that you mentioned that you get your resume reviewed because in many ways, I think resumes are kind of like an employment firewall, right? So they need to be maintained just like every other firewall. Um, well, John, it's been so great to catch up with you. Thank you so much for making time uh, to meet with me and being so flexible with your calendar. And, and uh, I really hope you have a fantastic event. I, I won't be there in person, but I'm looking forward to the replays uh, and particularly your your uh, keynote. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic event and safe travels getting there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Des, for having me. An absolute pleasure. Well, you have a great day. Thank you again for your time. And we'll look forward to seeing you on the show again soon. You too. Thanks. Thanks, John.